So the New York Jets have finally signed Dwayne Brown to a two-year $22 million contract, paying him $11 million a season. Now, I really just... I'm so happy that the New York Jets have finally signed Dwayne Brown. The practice after Makai Becton got hurt was really rough. Zach Wilson got sacked eight times. I'm sure the Jets' offensive line would have went on just fine without Dwayne Brown, but now that we have him, I just feel so much better about this team's chances this season and Zach Wilson's health. I'm not going to have to fear that he's going to get sacked eight times a game. So it's just good to see that the New York Jets finally have gotten an insurance policy for Makai Becton. And I also really like the fact that it is a two-year deal because while he is Makai Becton's injury protection and probably is just going to be an injury protection insurance policy for both of our tackles in 2023, but George Fant also is a free agent next offseason. If he decides to sign with another team, we can just put Dwayne Brown in his role, maybe draft a tackle in the later round, or just stick with Max Mitchell depending on how, you know, the rest of the season goes, depending on how the Jets are liking his development. So the New York Jets have a great plan in place at the tackle position, and of course, Makai Becton is going to be held healthy next season. I definitely think, you know, when healthy, I've said it many times before, he's a beast and hopefully he can come back next season better than ever. And who knows who's going to be playing alongside, but I'm just happy we have the Wayne Brown on the roster to be whatever the New York Jets need him to be. Now, what to expect from Dwayne Brown in his first season with the New York Jets? Obviously, as I've said before, he was a pro bowler in 2021, but that definitely was kind of just you know, a replacement award. He had a fantastic season in 2020, a season in which he had a pro football focus grade of 87.3, but didn't make it to the Pro Bowl last in 2020. So that definitely was just kind of like a, hey, sorry, we didn't get you in 2020, but here's your reward for, you know, your recognition from your 2020 campaign. So, I mean, he w wasn't bad in 2021, but it definitely was one of his weaker seasons as a Seahawk. His age is starting to show in his play. And, you know, as a pass protector, he really isn't anything too amazing, but as a run blocker, he's still pretty solid. Now, as for where he's going to play, it honestly shouldn't be a question. He's going to be a left tackle with the New York Jets. Rich Simini tweeted out earlier that Dwayne Brown has only played four snaps at right tackle. It's obvious he's going to be the Jets' left tackle this season, and they're just going to shift out George Fant to the right tackle position, which could end up being bad for the Jets because as a right tackle in 2020, he wasn't really amazing, but as a left tackle, we saw how elite his play was. But just glad the New York Jets got Dwayne Brown. We finally have a solid tackle on this roster that can start alongside George Fant. Just super happy Dwayne Brown is now a New York Jet and can't wait to see him in play September 11th against the Baltimore Ravens. But what do you guys' thoughts on the Jets signing Dwayne Brown? Comment them down below. And I'm your host, Jet, signing off for now. See you guys later. Peace.